on 92 to 95 FM and 1341 medium wave. This is BBC Radio Ulster. Now, tomorrow is Jewish Holocaust Remembrance Day. And to mark the event today, the Christian and Jewish communities here have been invited to walk from the Jaff Fountain to Belfast City Hall. It's part of the Worldwide March of Life, which was set up in Germany by descendants of soldiers and Nazi SS members. The idea is to remember the Holocaust and to take a stand against anti-Semitism. Well, I've been talking to Belfast Rabbi David Singer and to March organiser Michael McNally. In Belfast today, there's going to be a March of Life, which is a march which uh, originated in, in Germany. It's an initiative by Jobst and Charlotte Bittner uh, of Toss Ministries in Tübingen, Germany. Together with uh, descendants of German Wehrmacht soldiers and the descendants of uh, Nazi SS members, they have organised memorial and reconciliation marches at sites of the Holocaust all over Europe. Why is this important, Rabbi Singer? This is very important to uh, make a stand against, um, we call it xenophobia, it's uh, anti-Semitism and anti-anything really that's uh, against people and this is a commemoration of those terrible events uh, that took place then and a lesson for the future. And Mike, why do you think it's important that, that we do this, that we don't forget? Well, I think it's very important since we already have our former education minister has got some funds now to bring some of our school kids over to Auschwitz and we've had a group of them over there recently and they're coming back with that experience and we hope to have some of them actually at the event uh, to share their experience. Because Rabbi Singer, is there a concern, is there a worry that perhaps future generations will not know about the Holocaust? There certainly is a concern, yes. Uh, first of all, the survivors themselves are becoming old with the years. They are frail. And uh, that generation obviously will eventually uh, no longer be. So it is important that the uh, legacy that, uh, that they have uh, left for us is something that we should uh, continue. And it's a battle, isn't it, because of um, social media, because there are so many information places to go for people to get their news and their facts and their their alternative facts as if we want to put it like that it's very difficult isn't it to make sure that they know the full picture the true picture of what took place well that's the point you see the um the fact that people can choose the sites that they get information from actually they could be getting incorrect information and it's uh, very valuable to get the information from those that actually did experience those horrors uh, so that we can say that we've heard it first hand and although we will be passing it on as it were second hand at least it's accurate Mike how much support are you getting from outside of the Jewish community in Northern Ireland well, most of the people here will be from the Christian um, churches, and so we've we've a lot of people that have uh, registered for the events, and they're um, very keen to show uh, that they stand also against uh, anti-Semitism and even any, any type of of discrimination or racism. It's 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 a it's a problem that we're seeing even more in the world today. And are we seeing it too in Belfast, Rabbi Singer? I remember talking to you not that long ago, mm -hmm. um, late uh, last October, I think it was, and, and we were talking about graffiti on walls. We were talking about uh, headstones in the cemetery being smashed. You were getting suspicious emails. Has that all died down? Um, yes, thank God it's died down. But um, really, we could say that one almost has nothing to do with the other. This is a commemoration of events that took place years ago the legacy that it has left us today and and how we need to go on so sunday's event is is a commemoration of those events absolutely but what is the situation now in here because i think that time you were concerned you were you were saying that you believed there was a rise in anti-semitism here the statistics certainly prove that there is a rise in anti-semitism but, um, you know, we, we do talk with other religious leaders, we do talk with political leaders, and certainly from the top that we have a, a definite pattern of uh, trying to get things under control. Uh, but uh, Sunday's event should uh, actually uh, mark much, much more the need to learn lessons of the past in order to strive for the future.
And Mike, is that why you're doing this? Is that why it's so important to keep doing this every year? Uh, what's really important about it is that we give Holocaust survivors who are, are really our last Holocaust survivors the ability to speak and to, to share and also that the, the younger generation can hear that and they can really learn from that past so that we never have this indifference that we have seen over many decades and that we can really learn to break into the, the light and out of any kind of silence and darkness. Michael McNally and Rabbi David Singer, the March of Life, it will take place today at 3pm. It will walk from the Jaff Fountain at Victoria Square to City Hall in Belfast. BBC Music NI.